gentlemen, never seen before outside of China, I give you the famous Ming Dynasty Tapestries. This priceless artwork is protected by the most advanced security system in the world. If someone was to get too close... You don't like your picture for the photo contest? Uh, no, my picture's great, but this developing goop is like Nightmare on Manicure Street. I guess that's what they mean when they say you have to sacrifice for your art. Hey! Oops, were you guys working in here? Nice one, Mandy. Now our photos are totally ruined. What does it matter? The judges weren't going to pick your amateur snapshots over my professional prints anyway. Yeah? Huh? What makes you so sure? The fact that I'm a winner, Sam, and you three are losers. But don't worry, it's not all bad. I'll still wave to you from the stage when they're awarding me first prize. Ta-ta! <gasps> this is so unfair! She purposely ruined our work. Now she's going to win the contest no problem. Not if we do something to stop her. Like what? Like show our damaged pictures to Principal Jenkins? I'll bet she'd be interested in our story. Working the whoop away machine really needs to work on their aim. This is security footage of the most recent of international artifacts, the Ming Dynasty tapestries. Why would someone want to steal a bunch of ugly throw rugs? Each of those ugly throw rugs are over 1,000 years old with an auction house value of $10 million. Okay, so they're fancy ugly throw rugs. As documented by this tape, each theft has had a unique magical flair. Somehow the art world just vanishes into thin air without a clue. The international art world is up in arms over the thefts. Countries are starting to point fingers at each other. So how can we help? An upcoming millionaires-only art auction hosted by Spain's royal family is the thief's probable next target. Ladies, we need you to go undercover as wealthy art connoisseurs. We're undercover millionaires? That is so cool. Do we get to fly first class? Hmm, sort of. about the bumpy ride, girls, but we had to get you to the auction in a hurry. And now for the gadgets. For this mission, we've given you headband illuminators, portable reporter recorders with CD throwing stars, one hairpin high jumper extender pole, three pairs of suction cup gloves, and Bolo's wrapper belts. I'm almost afraid to ask, but how do we get from up here to down there? Oh, well, that's quite simple. We deploy a stage two re-entry disengagement. What's a stage two re-entry disengagement? I'm glad you asked me. It's this. Next time, Alex, don't ask! Now this is what I call a garden party. Remember, any one of these millionaires could be the thief, so stay alert. After all, no one would suspect a rich art snob of stealing things he could just buy. If we're making a list of potential rich, snobby no-goods, I'd like to add Mandy's name at the very top. Mandy will have to wait until the mission's over. Right now, it's spy time. Uh, yes, darling, but of course. The royal family welcomes you to the 17th annual autumn auction. Excuse me. Sorry. The scooting bag. First up for bids, Carlos Carmelita's famous Vase of the Unknown Soldier. We start the bidding at $500,000. Thank you. We have 500,000. Do we have six? And we have 600,000. Is there a bit of seven? Whoa! Who is wearing that ode way too strong? It's totally choking my sinuses. Oh, or pay attention. The thief could strike at any time. Still looking for 700,000? 600 going once. 
All I'm saying is that it's hard to focus on work when I'm gagging on, <gasps> gagging on. Uh, 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 we have seven hundred thousand. Will anyone bid eight? Seven hundred thousand going once. Oh! Going twice. Sold to the young lady in the second row. Oh. I think our mission just went over budget. And now the next item up for bids, Bernardo Vasco da Gama's last creation, the famed Don Quixote statue. We start the bidding of da Gama's only remaining marble work at five million. Like completely disappeared. Five hundred pound statues don't just disappear. And I bet this powdery stuff is part of the explanation. Going somewhere? Can't see a thing. Switch to high beams. Talk about musty. Someone needs to open up a window down here big time. You know, that guy or not, he could have at least beat. Uh, artifact in progress. Official police business. Well, sort of. Hey! Sorry, we'll be back soon. found at both disappearance sites is an explosive compound used in magic tricks. So then maybe Alex wasn't in an accident. It was just some trick and she's okay? All evidence points that way. And as far as the parachute and tornado illusions go, it appears they were tricks made famous by a world-renowned magician, the great Kandinsky. Well, let's go pay a visit to this Kandinsky guy and see if he's got a few extra paintings hanging around his house. I'm afraid that won't be possible. He died some years back in a boating accident. Okay. Well, that definitely gets filed in the not helpful file. Perhaps not. His grandson still keeps the family castle open as a public shrine to his grandfather. He might be able to shed some light on these thefts. Sounds good to me. Any place would be better than this boring siestaville. <laughs> Maybe not any place. Yes, can I help you? Hi, I'm Samantha Simpson, Abracadabra Magazine. My colleague Clover and I are doing a retro piece on great magicians of the world. Could we ask a few questions about your grandfather? It would be so, so very helpful. Sure, come on in. And these were probably his most famous stage illusions. The spiked coffin and the gruesome guillotine. <gasps> Look at that. It slices and it dices. <sighs> huh? Hey, cool watch. It's my grandfather's hypnotizing watch. They say he could put anybody in a trance with just one swing. Twizzle, twazzle, twizzle, twig. Time for this one to awake. That's the spell to break the trance. <laughs> Kinda goofy, huh? <laughs> yeah, kinda. So, anyway, uh -huh. our readership would die for the inside scoop on a famous Kandinsky illusion, like, um, say the secret behind the tornado or parachute illusion. Uh, what kind of reporters are you? What? Any real magic enthusiast knows great magicians never reveal their tricks. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you two to leave. <laughs> nice meeting you two. Burr. Could his wind chill factor have gotten any colder? Okay, it's even creepier out here than it was in there. Totally. Let's get out of here.